Hi everyone, it's Karen Lee and welcome to today's Friday Rant. Oh boy, what a week we had. I had Nina Hartley on. She is just an amazing woman. Nina and I talked a lot about your favorite subject. I say yours because those are the shows that seem to get the most views uh, over all the other shows that have to do with dating and love and finding yourself again. Penis Size has the most views of everyone. So with that being said, I'd like to recap a little bit about what I found fascinating about what Nina said about her views about penis size. For all of you who don't know, Nina Hartley is one of the most famous porn stars and sex educators out there. Well, the reason I say sex educators because who's got more experience than someone who's been with over five to six hundred women, five or six hundred men, and has shot over a thousand porn scenes. She's very bright. She's a nurse and I can go on and on. Nina is not afraid to speak her mind and to get very graphic with her details about penis size or sex or anything related to that. There'll be a few more episodes that I do with Nina in the future, so keep a lookout for those. She and I both are in agreement that we like the average size penis. She calls it her daily cock and then her special occasion cock. So what Nina's saying is she doesn't want to be spending a lot of time with the foreplay that goes into when you're with someone with a very large penis. Bigger does not always mean better. For both Nina and myself, the reason we feel that way is it takes a lot more preparation when you're with someone with an extremely large penis. As far as a very small penis, she also came up with some really good advice about how to have sex with someone with a small penis. She also talked about penis extenders, which I wasn't even aware that they were out there. And she also talked about if she has learned to please women because she's bisexual with her fingers, that it doesn't really matter how big someone's penis is. It matters what they do with the other aspects of sex, such as kissing. Obviously, you could do a lot with your hands and you can do a lot with other things such as vibrators even. So there's so many different things that you could do if you've got an exceptionally large or exceptionally small penis. The most important thing about penis size is that you have confidence and, and don't apologize for anything that you're born with or not born with. Length, girth, etc. Yes, you know, people are going to have preferences. The gist of what Nina and I were talking about is that it's not really about the size as much as it's about the person you're with and how that person's making you feel if you're communicating about your sexual needs and desires, including the mind. There are so many things that you can do to mentally stimulate your partner so that she has a phenomenal sexual experience with you, more so than the person who just has like uh, the jumbo size cock. I did want to get to other topics such as a guy that wrote in and asking me how many sexual encounters they have to have before they can be with a cougar, how old do you have to be to be with a cougar, or how experienced in relationships do you have to be to be with a cougar? And the answer is always the same. I don't think you need any experience whatsoever. All you need is confidence and a good chemistry between you and the person that you're thinking about being with. It's a connection. Or if you found somebody that you are interested in and she happens to be older, you need to have the confidence to walk up to her and to ask her out or to flirt with her or whatever. No experience necessary if you're going after a cougar. If you haven't had an opportunity, please sign up for my newsletter. I think you'll really enjoy reading it. It comes in a form of an email once a week. It gives you lots of great tips about dating, sex, love, and everything in between. I love you all. Subscribe to my channel, Karen Lee Potter, here on YouTube. I put out videos every Wednesday and Friday. Hope you enjoy this episode. Bye-bye.